All right, it is another another set of dailies for Guild Wars 2, and I'm trying to do Tequaddle again, if that's how you say it. But I forgot there was an update for Guild Wars 2 yesterday, and so I am a little late because I updated it. I was gonna join it like or log in at 5 p.m. right when my dailies reset, but it's 5:10 now, and I thought that. I, I had to update, and it took took longer than I expected, so I, I didn't get here quite when it started. So I don't even know if these people are going to be able to do the event. Doesn't look like it. I tried to do it yesterday, and people failed at it, so we'll see. I don't know. Uh, it's funny, because yesterday I was talking about how, like... Uh, these world bosses are kind of like uh, like raiding in WoW, but not difficult because you know you just have enough people and you don't fail. That's not true because um, at least with this boss, it's not true. You definitely you can definitely fail quite miserably if you don't have enough people that know what to do. And I'm not above. I'm not too proud to say that I'm. One of, I'm, I'm one of those people that have no idea what to do, clearly, as I just died. Um, but I was trying to rest someone, so, yeah. Um, okay, cool. I got defeated. So, yeah. This is, uh, yeah, I don't know. This is probably a waste of time, because no one knows what they're doing, including myself. So, we're not going to defeat the boss for, most likely this time around, and I fucking hate these vines and leaves. I always get stuck on them. They're really fucking annoying. Um, even though there are clear paths around the side of them, it's just really annoying. But, yeah, it, it doesn't... I guess I just got lucky last time I did, did this boss. There's just a good group of commanders that were leading, telling people what to do, and organizing stuff. That didn't happen yesterday, and it clearly doesn't look like it's happening right now. So, yeah, the... the <laughs> the health to Quaddle's health is full right now and there's only like nine minutes left so there's only five turrets left this yeah he should be half dead by now but whatever it's fine I'll, I'll still try I guess there are other events oh fuck that was stupid I do like these launch pads though they're awesome okay yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing, so... It's so whatever. I just... Uh, I don't know. I know that there are turrets that you need to protect, and then obviously there's the boss. And I fucking hate those things that just blow up and, and take all your health. Like that? Like, oh, what the fuck, dude? I don't know how to respond to that. They come out of nowhere, and then you just fucking die. You just die. How can I dodge something that just... I can't see. It's so fucking stupid. I hate it. Like that these that happened to me at least three times yesterday. They're either bombs flying out of the sky or they are those stupid fish things that pop up and explode. Either way, I fucking hate them and I have no idea how to deal with them. I'm sure there is a way to properly dodge them and not get hit by them, and it's just my own in inability to react to them. But either way, it's the most annoying thing in the world to me right now in this game. So, whatever. Uh, I've already said before that I suck at dodging, so... Uh, I, I, I want to learn and know what to do, but it's... Yeah, oh, fuck that. I don't know. Fuck, I don't want to res you. Fuck you. You're an NPC. You don't count as much. I should get this guy. He's, he's not completely shit. So it's... Okay, those poison clouds definitely fuck your shit up. It's like impossible to res these guys when those things are there. I don't even know. Fuck that. I, I want to know where they're coming from. I don't know if mobs are spawning them or they're just flying out of the sky. Whatever they're doing, it's a pain in the ass. And like, there's like, there's all these mobs attacking the turrets. We only have three turrets left. So, fuck. It sucks. It's not gonna happen. Um, 
Yeah, it looks like people in chat are saying like, what, what's wrong with everyone? Why was everyone so late to like, to, to Quaddle? And then another person was like, because of the update. And I, that, that's funny because that's why I was late. Either way, this, this definitely isn't going to happen. This event is fucking, it's not gonna happen. We aren't coordinated enough. They don't have enough people who know what they're doing. Too many people like me just running around like idiots and like I'm trying to defend this turret right here, but I can't do it by myself. It's just it's too hard. It's too hard to do this alone. Um I think I'm gonna get out of here as soon as I can. My pet died again. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanna I can't really leave until I'm out of combat. And I wanna at least get the XP for failing the event. But Oh well. God damn it. Let me fucking dodge. Holy shit. That is so stupid. I hate it when I get bound like that. So I have like, I have no way that I know of to actually uh, stop that from being a thing. Stay away. Fuck you. This is like a normal mob and look how hard I'm, like how much I can't kill it. I'm pretty bad. I'm, I don't know. I'm really sleep deprived today. Like if I don't get eight hours of sleep, I feel so shitty. And I know lots of people can function off of like five hours or some shit, or even less. And for me, if it's I don't get like nine is ideal. But I tr I'm trying to condition myself to be used to eight. So I feel like nine, you, you shouldn't need nine to be well rested. Okay, it looks like we only have one turret left. So as soon as that dies, we should we should say you lose or whatever, and then Taquato will do the giant wave of death and whatnot. I don't know. Okay, now we have zero. We'll see what happens. But, no, I, like, if I don't get eight hours of sleep, I feel pretty shitty. So, it's, it sucks. I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just tired. Um, and then this this happening is always, obviously not fun. It's, it's never fun when you lose. But, whatever. I just want it to end so I can move on to another event. That's the first time I've actually landed, like, on, on the pad. That's cool. Okay. Hylic turrets remaining is two, but these look dead. Oh, that one got revived, I guess. Okay, what is even happening right now? That's what I want to know. There's just... This dude's fucked because it's stupid these things. And there goes the turret. Um, I Yeah, I just... I don't think there's any way that we're going to do this event at this point. There's no way. We don't know what the fuck to do. I don't know what the fuck to do. Look at me, I'm, I'm just running around. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to defeat this many people when there's only a few of us? Many more people. I think there's just, Taquaddle's not a very easy event. So, like, I think it's one of the more difficult ones. So if you don't have enough people, and if you don't have enough people coordinating, it's just a disaster. Can I get this guy back up? Yeah, I can. Okay, that's an elite. That's why he's fucking me up. I was like sitting there trying to res that guy, and I'm like, why is this guy hurting me so much with auto attacks? And then I realized that is a. I don't know if my mic's picking it up. That is a loud ass plane outside. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, we loot. I guess the wall finally broke. I don't know what that means. I guess it means you can shoot. You can shoot. Uh. At the at the quality now to to bottle to bottle I keep forgetting the name oh my god um there's a rich flat node on the the shard by the northwest vista I don't I don't even know so how long is it until okay it's a minute I'll wait it out it's a minute until we run out of time so we're gonna die anyway. I think, which is fine. I don't really care. I I, I was just hoping to. I was hoping that the five o'clock time for Tequado was the best time because I think I think that he spawns every the same time every day for that. It sets us since that's a daily reset time. You just figure daily reset time would be when the majority of the big skilled commanders and players would do it. So then, like shitty people like me can actually. Um, can actually achieve, you know, get the chests and everything. But apparently, with the update and everything, that's not gonna happen today, which is fine. I don't, I don't care too much. I'm not like really upset about it. 
I'm gonna step in my spike trap. I love it. I can make spike traps when I revive people. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that giant wave to happen. But I'll, I'll there. The cool thing is there's always other events about to happen or soon to happen, so I will go off and do those while this is happening. Somehow I oh daily veteran slayer and daily reviver. I didn't see that. Definitely gonna do daily reviver now then. Oh, and also yesterday I was talking about. Oh, God damn it! Stop! I wanted to revive that person. You're making my life difficult. Please don't attack me, Risen Abomination. You should not attack me. You should stay there. Yeah, go that way. Good. Okay. Just revive these guys. This is a bad idea because there's lots of shit happening. Event failed. I died. Yay! Do the fucking wave of death. I don't even care that I died, honestly. Swords are disturbed by lingering presence. Like, where the fuck did that shit come from? That's what I want to know. That's what I don't like. Like, okay, I see the ones flying out of the sky, but that was, see, that was that thing. That stupid fucking fish thing. For this event, they just pop up out of nowhere like mines. And I, I have no way to see them. I don't see them on the ground. I can't see them in the dirt or anything. So I fucking, I'm just minding my own business trying to res people. Walk by and then, nope. You just get wrecked. It's fucking annoying. Whatever. Oh, it's so stupid. Okay, I'm gonna go back because I want to get my daily reviver in. Hopefully, I can actually do that now. She's my elite, so I can run faster. So what? Reviver 60. Yeah, I need to revive like four people. It shouldn't be too difficult. Um. Yeah. So yeah, that was a epic fail. And those thing, those fucking things on the ground, whatever the fuck they are, they instantly kill you. Piss me off, because I a I don't know what they are, and because of that, b I can't fucking dodge them. So it's like I feel like I'm getting killed for no reason, and that's just frustrating. It's like I'm not even given a chance to actually react and try to be good. And everyone's rezzed already. Fucking hell. This is unfortunate. This is an unlucky day. No, wait, they're not. They're just not showing up on... There they are. Okay. Res you. Nope, 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 nope. Let me dodge. Fucking... What the fuck? That was stupid. I couldn't move. After I started resing this dude. And see, one of those things popped up again. Are they... Is there a way to see them? Like, I'll be really upset if I, like, rewatch this video later. And then I see that it's just me being stupid. And there's something clearly indicating their presence on the ground. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, that that's another another revive. See, see. Okay, so that's one. I'm really scared. I swear I didn't see those earlier. God, no, go go away. Go away, please. I don't. Oh my god, I just want to get my reviver. No, not. There's so many vets. It's just all vets. The pet's gonna get absolutely destroyed. This guy just died again. Rip. Sorry, bro. Everyone left. As soon as we wiped, like, full wiped, everyone's just like, fuck this, I'm out. They didn't give a fuck. Oh my god. At least I'll get my daily veteran slayer from this part. At least I will get that. Eventually. My, my DPS is shitty right now, though. I'm here. Daily Vet Slayer, okay, I'm fucking out. Stupid. Let's see if there's people doing this event over here. If not the Mega Destroyer. Oh my god. Fucking stupid. I'm pretty sure that one was visible though. Please go away. Please go away. She go away. Yes, heal me. Quickly. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. So this is a minefield of death now is what I'm, the vibes I'm getting. I really shouldn't be here. This is a terrible place. Um, can I, can I jump? I don't know if that was a good idea. Whatever. Uh, I'm just seeing if there's actually people over here defending it, because if not, then I'm not staying nope there aren't people here okay Let's see if i can revive this dude before they notice me 
How the fuck did they just know to come over here? That's what I want to know. Alright. Daily Reviver. I'm getting the fuck out of here as soon as they leave me the fuck alone. Well, they're not going to leave me alone. But at least I can run away now. Good fucking riddance, man. Right, let's see. PM myself. The waypoint. Just get the fuck out of Dodge right now. I don't know if this already happened or not. This is a pretty quick event, so there's a good chance it's already done. That's fine, though. Oh, man. That was a bummer. That's life. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's already over. Um, yep. Unless it hasn't... Nope, it's done. Yep, there's a chest. Man, I am just failing hard today. At least I got two of my daily things done, though. That's good. What is this? Sell it. How is that not considered junk? Oh, that was a salvage item. I'm dumb. That wasn't. That was. Give me that back. Let's see what else. Is there anything? Okay, cool. And I'm going to salvage this. All right, cool. So there is three minutes until the Mega Story spawns. Or the pre-event start. So I think I'll head over there, see if there's any events going on currently. If I can remember where it's at, honestly, it's in Mount Millstrom. Millstrom, 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 I don't know. I'm losing my mind. It's just happening. That's what happens when you're tired. You get a little crazy, a little grumpy. At least I do. Is there anything going on yet? It really doesn't look like it. Um, are there any hearts in here that I can do? Also does not look like it. There's a vista up here. I want to get that vista. I've been wanting that vista for a while. Yeah, it looks like it's three minutes until the Mega Destroyer events start. Which, that's a really fun event. So hopefully that will go better than Tequadal did. Tequadal was, uh, just, let's not, let's not talk about that. I don't want to think about that, that, how bad that was. I'm at least on the bright side. Um, at least I was able to complete that event once and, you know, experience it the way it should be. That was really fun. Uh, and I just got lucky. That was the first time that happened. This is the, the, that was the third time I've tried that boss. And the last two times, including this one, obviously, were just terrible failures, just like this one. It was absolutely horrible. Like, there weren't enough people. No one knew what they were doing, except for a small select few people, like the... Um, commanders and whatnot, so it was just shitty. I, I don't really understand the fight, though. I don't understand the mechanics or anything. I get that there's people need to be on turrets, and obviously they're shooting at the dragon, but there's more to it than that because there's like two or three attacks, I think, for the cannons, and you have to use a specific one for depending on what is going on and during the fight, and then obviously the defense phase for the battery recharge or whatever it's called. You have to, um, oh, I can go here. You have to, uh, defend those, and if not enough people go to each spot, like each turret or battery or whatever it's called, then obviously you'll, you'll fail that part, and then that just creates a wipe, and then you can retry, and that happened yesterday, and it was not fun. But, um, eventually, eventually it'll, I'm sure it'll be completed again. Well, we'll have a day where I actually get to Quaddle properly. Maybe, maybe this last two days have kind of been fluky, and and maybe, hopefully, I'm hoping that that's not the common, the common to Quaddle experience is it being a miserable failure, because that just reminds me of all the bad things about LFR and WoW and how annoying it is when people don't know boss mechanics. And granted, I don't know them, so I really don't have any place to speak right now on that because I'm one of the people contributing it contributing to the problem but like at least i'm trying i'm trying to learn the mechanics as i go it's really i could look up i guess yeah i should look up like a guide or something what is this oh these are pieces of gear i thought those were waypoints so i was like hey are there events here because this is starting in 20 seconds and normally there are a bunch of pre-events that happen there's like a cave up here that you have to clear up destroyers there's this section and there's like two over here and then there's an escort event here that leads to all the events in here. But yeah, uh, the, the Mega Destroyer is really fun. 
this this episode is going to be like an hour long though. I can already tell because I'm not going to finish until I finish the Mega Destroyer. And that's going to take a while. And it's because the, the Quaddle thing failed miserably. But that's okay. Um, that's mainly just me complaining about sucking at this game and getting killed by shit. Whatever. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I'm going to head over here. It's the closest place. I, I, like I said before, there's lots of people that just wait in here. They just don't give a shit. They don't want to... They can't be asked to go do the event. And do the pre-events. So they just kind of... Just kind of chill. And just wait for other people to take care of it for them. I don't know why people bother killing all these along the way. They're not part of the event yet. They are later. But I just kind of run through as best as I can. In order to get to where the actual event is. Though, if no one else shows up here, I'm fucked because I'll get wrecked by all the the mobs that are going to be there. Is someone attacking these? I oh, know they're attacking each other. Okay. Get some more boost. I don't know if I already said it in this, this recording, but um, I was right about this armor being like a default override that happens if you set your settings lower. You don't allow a certain amount of models and, and character limiting stuff. I don't know the specific name for it, but it's definitely... A thing um, and yeah it, it, it's cool though I'm really happy that that's a thing because it helps a lot when with these events when there's a, a ton of people so I believe stop the stress collectors from destroying or collectors by destroying well wow, what the fuck just killed me I was trying to read that and didn't notice I was getting attacked stupid golem being an asshole how the fuck did he do that much damage to me that's what I want to know Crap. Oh, okay. I didn't see those guys over there. A lot more going on than I noticed. There is just so many red circles right now. So yeah, we have to destroy, destroy these power cores, I'm guessing. And I'm going over to where the rest of the people are. Because I don't want to die. Should help kill these, though. Do that. Inquest extinguisher. Why aren't you dead? Or why are you still on the screen if you are dead? Trash collector. Collect two of 25 junk items? What is that? A new new uh, achievement, I guess? Oh shit, my pet's set on avoid combat. That's why I wasn't doing anything. So, yeah. This... I don't understand this event that well. I just know you're supposed to destroy the stuff. and I don't know if you're supposed to destroy this one or you're supposed to protect it definitely look like we were supposed to destroy it. I also went and did a bunch of my story quests, my storyline or whatever it's called. Um, because I was way behind on that. It was like in level, the level 50 range. And that got me to, um, quite a high level actually. 76 now. I, I got a bunch of XP from that and now it jumped to level 70. So, but I, if the update is the full update, I was reading that they're making story quests um, all the same level for each section. So, like, this level 70 section will be a really big amount, and it doesn't jump around as much. Because when I... It, before the update, it was level 59, I believe, for this, this specific quest in the storyline, or whatever it's called. Quest, I don't know if it's called a quest or not. Whatever. You get the idea. So I should... Realistically, I think there's a good chance that I'll be able to get level 80 strictly from the rest of my story. Um, I know for sure I can get it from all of my story because there's a lot more after you hit 80. I thought that it ended at 80, but on my warrior when I got 80 I was like, oh, this isn't the end. And I still haven't finished it on that guy. I need to do that too. But I, I wanted, I just kind of feel like leveling up different characters and that's what my focus is now. So that's what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so I have a good feeling that I have enough, enough storyline personal story left before 80 to get me to 80 alone because you get huge amounts of xp from finishing the ones that actually do award xp because obviously there are some that don't give you any xp at all and they're just kind of the quick ones where you go talk to a couple people and then plan out you know you, you have certain things where it's like oh i gotta pick do i want to get the super weapon or do i want to find this gen go find this long lost general or something that has a really good battle plan or something like that so I normally, th those ones you don't really get XP for, but then you get XP for the later ones, like, I can't remember what it's called, but it's one where you, 
you get attacked at Lion's Arch um, by one of the Zy a bunch of Zaitans, Zaitans minions, or however you say them. And then there's his like one of his big dragon minions that attacks, and yeah, that one gives you a ton of XP, and it's a really cool event. And then there's like Retribution after that, after you fail, and you go back and reclaim Claw Island. That was awesome. I remember doing that on my warrior. So, the, the ones like those where you actually get XP, especially big ones like those, get quite quite a bit of XP. I've never actually been able to do this escort event because I, I always wanted to, but I, I never have the chance to get there in time. So I think next time I do the Mega Destroyer, probably tomorrow, if I do do the Mega Destroyer tomorrow, I will go start over here instead. Okay. So this is the other part I was talking about, where there's a bunch of, like, kill all the destroyer thingies. Those are really fun. So normally I go to the other hall, but I'm going to go to this one this time, because I haven't done this in the past. Oh, I need to attack the veteran. How do I... There we go. Just going to... Going to move on now, because I want to get credit for all of them. I don't know if these are separate events or not, but... Um, I want to get as much credit as I can because I want XP, obviously. I remember the destroyers from Guild Wars 1. Those things hurt so bad. Like, they hurt quite a bit in this this game, too, in Guild Wars 2, but in Guild Wars 1, man, those things would just mess you up. I had a really tough time defeating the final boss in Eye of the North, the destroyer, whatever it was called. It, I, it took me many tries, many, many tries to do that. And... Um, also, the... Wait, no, I don't even think I did the boss in Eye of the North, actually. I don't think I've successfully defeated that one. I'm, I think I'm thinking of the one... What is this? Oh, okay, I'm getting distracted. I think I'm thinking of the one in... Um, what was it called? Nightfall, the final boss in the Realm of Torment. Yeah, that one... Oh my god, it took me so many tries to beat that. And also, in Prophecies, the Lich, Lich King or whatever it's called. Like, honestly, I can't remember the name, so I could be misspeaking on all of these, but the, I know it was a Lich of some sort. Anyway, the final, the final boss of that, the Lich, was that whole mission, like, where you had to go through all the, the whole area and defeat, I can't remember, what were the, I can't remember what the kind, the type of mobs were for that mission, but, uh, going i had to go th go through all that whole mission and get to the actual final boss no one because that was later in guild war guild wars one lifespan um and no one really did those missions at that point so i had to do a hero and uh hero henchman setup which granted some of those team builds you could set up with your three heroes uh plus you know just adding henchmen could be really efficient um, I can't remember what they were called, but there were a couple like calling ones where you would call your attacks and then if you set up It was like triple triple necro hero, and then you set up your attacks your your skill bar for Specific calling you called out your attacks on a target which would force your heroes to attack the same target as you So basically what you do is you would debuff the target with these certain uh, debuffs um, that would Synergize really really well with your what your three necromancer heroes had and then they would use that and it would just basically nuke each target down and then there was another mechanic of it where every kill would refresh your everyone's cooldowns or at least your cooldowns which would allow you to recall it every target and you would just kill stuff super fast and it was great but I didn't know that at the time so I just kind of made my own builds that obviously weren't that great and it was rough. It took me several hours to complete that mission. And I remember, like, because if you, if you died, you could get resurrected, obviously. But you would get death penalty, 15% death penalty for every death. And you would sl slowly gain it back as you killed bosses. And if you had positive, you would get, like, 2% morale for each boss you killed, I think, which is, it would boost your stats. And obviously, um, for death penalty, it made your stats lowered. Um, kind of like res sickness and wow, but not as drastic at first. It would stack up, and I think you could get up to like a maximum of like sixty negative sixty percent or something. But I, I remember dying like several times, and uh, it was 
it was rough getting through that instance because I would die in there and be like, oh shit, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to make it because I won't have enough health or uh, you know damage or anything, and I'll just die, and then we'll get too much death penalty stacked up to the point where we'll just be useless. But I barely made it through that instance, and I think I got like disconnected because I was playing. I'm almost positive at that point in time I was playing on a dial-up connection because that's all that I had where like my parents lived just didn't get didn't get high speed internet and they still don't actually which is really surprising um, but <laughs> that's that's another story anyway I, I got disconnected or something and so I was like oh shit I'm, I was so upset because I was like, great I'm gonna have to start from the beginning and I've already spent like an hour in here trying to work my way through the final mission so I was really, you know, upset about it, but I, you, you could log back in to Guild Wars 1 if you got DC'd out of a, a, mo a mission, which was, like, in a specific instance, and then um, if everything went right, it would put you back uh, where you were without, you know, you losing progress. And so I was able to do that. As long as, you, I think it was as long as you didn't close the client and you just logged back in straight away and then it tried to reconnect you, as long as that worked, you would be fine. So, thankfully, that happened, but, uh, yeah, that, that, that final mission was rough. Alright, so, Mega Destroyer, I've noticed if you stand a certain distance away, like, to where you're not out of range, but you're on the edge of your range, at least with the short bow, it doesn't auto-attack anymore, so you have to, like, spam. You have to spam your buttons. So, like, right now, this is not an efficient spot for a short bow because this, the Mega Destroyer is just too far away. So I'm just going to work my way around. I was trying not to get burnt there, but oh well. Sometimes, if you if you time it right, you can you can avoid a lot of that. A lot of those problems uh, with burning in lava. If you jump at the right time and then dodge roll. As long as you don't... Um, as long as you you don't stay in the lava for too long, you can you can get over small distances without actually getting burning on you. But I don't, I don't even know this this dude's mechanics either. I know he does like a big sweeping attack where it just just instantly downs a lot of people. But that's really all I know. So let's see. It's like he summoned vets to do stuff. Should I go over there? How much health does it have? I don't know. I hate how I can't tab target very well. And I don't know why it's not working that well, but it's not. Guess I'm back over on this side now. Cool. I thought he, he stayed up longer for the first phase before he summoned minions. Maybe I was wrong. Oh shit, don't stand in the flames. Don't stand in the lava, that's bad. Just gonna heal. Why not? Okay, there we go. Let's, let's stand with everyone else right here. The only thing that sucks with this is I, I don't think I'm applying my bleeds because I'm not behind him, but whatever. You know, it's, not a, it's not a big deal. Just I do less damage because my conditions are most of my damage. And at first, when I first did this, I thought that these guys down here were meleeers, people melee. And so I went down there too. I was like, oh, is there like a mechanic of this fight where if you stand on the lava, you don't actually take damage? I was wrong, and I died. Yeah. He's purging. So that's when I don't stand there anymore. Okay. Oh, there's the vet. Am I even gonna... There we go. I was wondering if I was gonna be able to attack it in time. Way more people stand over here. It's just so much more going on. Okay, I'm gonna give me, give me some of this power. What am I stuck on? Oh man. It should be. Yeah, there's one over there. It's hard to like see the environment when you're this zoomed out, but at the same time, you need to be this zoomed out for the destroyer because he's such a huge monster. It's hard to actually, you know, see him, see the full model of the. The boss, uh, that's that's annoying. I don't know why I ran over there. It's not really helping. I didn't even get there in time. Is there another thing over here? Apparently there is. I did not notice that. 
Let's see. Wait, is that loots? Oh, claim buff, okay. Speaking of buffs, let's just let's get the birthday booster out. Come on. There we go. Alright, back back to the destroyer. Okay, I'm shooting him with cakes. I don't think that's gonna do anything. Switch to my bow again. Gotta get quickening Zephyr out, that's the best. Quickening quickness, I think it's called quickness. Let's see what it's called. Yeah, quickness is like awesome. I've said that before. It's just a great just a great all around ability. Gotta love it. Water arrow. Shoot an arrow of water, the damage is foes and heals the allies around. I don't know why that guy linked that. Oh well. Ooh, I wonder who he's attacking. If like I can't I can't tell who he's attacking. It looks like he's just like attacking the minions or people's pets down there. This mist runner just got wrecked. That was someone's pet of some sort, I believe. <laughs> I'm just like auto attacking right now. I am so tired and out of it. I don't even care. I got fucking bronze for that. Oh, that's so stupid. I don't know what what the fuck that's about. But all right, what is this? Level 77 rewards. What? Apply to a piece of armor. Oh my. Condition damage. Bleed. Condition damage. Okay, yeah, bleeds are good. No, oh, I can revive you. And too many resurrectors. Never mind, I can't revive you. Sorry. Bonus chest. Get this chest. To get tons of stuff. I've been making a lot of... In comparison to how much money I had before I started doing these, I've been making a lot of money. I know it's not a lot of money in comparison to what a lot of people have in this game, but... Yeah, these have helped me out a lot. So there another event? The Evolved Jungle Worm. No, that's not gonna spawn for a while. Oh, that sucks, because I only need, like, two more events to finish my daily thing. Oh, never mind, I can do Daily Gatherer. I guess we'll do that, Ed. Oh, man, I'm just too tired right now. Um, where's... You know what I've been meaning to do is explore this lower area down here. See if there's waypoints down there, that would be helpful. I've also never... Yeah, I've never completed the Jungle Worm either, because just every time... It's a, it's a failure... Like Tukali was. Or Tukwaddle. I don't know why I keep saying Tukwali. It's not even close to the name. Oh well. So I just need to go gather stuff. That's that's what we're gonna do. Go on a little adventure here. And I already see my first target. This looks like a Banyan sapling. I don't want to do any hearts though. I just want to finish this daily. Gather this. I, I think what I'm gonna do after this, th this uh, recording is just go and... Uh, Try to do as much of my um, personal story as I can to to get to level 80. Because I really want to get to level 80 on this character. So I can start my new character. Which is going to be an elementalist. Which is already level like 22. Because I had the... Uh, what's it called? That boosting thing from birthday present from two years, I think. It's so like I said, I, ha I had this game during release or pre-release, three-day head start like most other people did. But then after, I think I got to like level maybe 40 on my warrior, I quit. And I was like level 20 on my ranger, level 20, or not 20, but like 35, 40 on my warrior, and then I never played after that. So, yeah. Um, so I have two year, two two-year-old characters, I believe. This guy and my warrior, this is the first guy I made. And then my warrior is also uh, was made right around the release. I, I don't think... Oh, no, I have a guardian as well that's a, almost a two-year-old character. Not quite as old as, as these ones, but fairly old. So they get the uh, um, things. I can't think of words right now. They get the, the presents, the birthday presents for two years, which included that uh, 20... 20 level boost thing is really cool very helpful if you're like me and you have you don't have very many 80s or anything above 20 you know you skip 20 levels can't complain of that i don't know what this commander's doing over here he's just gathering stuff 
Who knows? What is my daily gather at? Oh, sweet. I only have one more thing. Cool. Now I'm going to get this waypoint over here and do that skill challenge. It's just planning stuff out. That is just how we do stuff right now. I'm going to activate this. I want to run faster, even if it is my ultimate. Ultimate. God, I, again, I call it that. It's not an ultimate. It's, uh, it's another thing. It's uh, elite. Elite. It's an elite. <coughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I call it that. I don't like I said. I don't even play league. I don't play league. I don't play do uh, mobas at all. I just that's not what I play. So I don't know why I call it that. But I do. I guess I hear it from my friends a lot, and so I end up saying it, and it's just dumb. But yeah, elite skills. Speaking of elite sp skills that uh, give you swiftness i know they change this with the warrior changes uh for the patch they just released it's either with this patch or it's about to happen pretty sure it's with this patch um but anyway the warrior signet of rage used to be a um it used to be like a certain amount of swiftness i can't remember exactly how long it was a while though and uh there we go there's daily gather and the daily five of five Anyway, it used to be a really long time for your um, swiftness and pretty much everything else too, but swiftness especially. And so you could stack that with the Warhorn. And basically, um, I think I had a, a trait that made me have uh, reduced Signet recharge time as well. So with that, that combination, I could have unlimited swiftness as long as I used my Warhorn on cooldown every single time. I don't know where the fuck all these guys came from, but... I want to get the skill point before I finish this, so I'm just going to do that, and then I'll revive this guy. There's lots of stuff. There's just everything everywhere forever right now. Just just monsters. Mobs on mobs on mobs. To, it's a good thing they're not that strong, or this would be a disaster. Plus, there's other people, so that's good. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know what this trash collector thing is. It's got to be a new achievement they added with the update, because that wasn't there before. And if it was there before, I would have noticed it because I pick up everything that I get. And, yeah, the trash is a large, a common thing with that. This guy should die really fast. So we have, like, three people here. So, no worries on that. I also, I normally do, like, a Axe Warhorn when I have, like, the veteran and then his minions. But I did that before, and then I realized if you kill the veteran before the other two or three minions when it's like a skill challenge like that or in an event generally the other two just disappear so now i, I don't do that anymore because there's no point no point in killing the other two or trying to kill the other two while i kill the main one if if i kill the main one they're just gonna disappear and these guys are just spawning like crazy let me attack these turn my pet back on the guard what is this there are a few players remaining on this map. Would you like to move to a more populated version of the same map? Wait, what? D do they have the Q thing again, or is this a new feature? I don't know. Let's see. There are a few players remaining on this map. Would you like to move to a more populated version of the same map? You have 59 minutes to volunteer before the map closes. Volunteer reward. Volunteer's Blessing. Movement speed increased by 15%. Karma gain increased by 5%. Experience from kills increased by 10%. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to go there, but I don't need to go there because I'm going to LA. I just wanted to see what what was going on here. I don't, I don't know if this is like to help populate maps or is this to help like newer players because it's like a volunteer type thing. So I'm not sure. Oh well. <laughs> it just made, it made these nodes of ore respawns, so that's good. Come back, pet. Come back. Oh, sweet. This has more ore in it. Man, you guys, these spiders just don't let up, do they? Switch this. Call my birds to attack you. Give myself some buffs. Spider Slayer. Fuck yeah. Give me my short bow back. Thank you. And... Dead. Okay. Now I'm going to Lion's Arch. I just wanted to see what this thing was of the volunteer map type thing. It's funny because I switched to that map, which is supposed to be more populated. When I get there, there aren't people there. <laughs> there were people in the previous version of the map. Oh, well, we'll also figure that out as I play more. 
I really need to read the uh, patch notes and changes that they, they, they've been doing. So, yeah, got another set of dailies done. And I'm getting very close to max level on this character. Which, if I keep playing after this and do my personal story and stuff, I, I'll definitely reach that goal today. So, let me get, get back to my spot. Come on, you can do it. I had like a, I had this down yesterday. Like, I practiced it a little bit. And I was like, okay, I can do this now. But I, I still seem to fail, even so. Alright, again, gotta call my pet, because apparently he can't follow me up here very easily. Yeah, that has been another Guild Wars 2 daily commentary. Some serious fails today, but it, it worked out. So, um, if every, if I do get this guy to 80 after this, then the future future ones of these are going to be on a different character. Which is, if I stick to my plan, is going to be my elementalist. But yeah, otherwise, that's it.